and potential deadly material from the ranges. Troops from 3-3 Regiment's Explosive Ordnance Disposal Unit are combing land here at Kirkudbury Training Area. Getting rid of any explosives or ammunition left over from training exercises. A role they've been drafted into due to the current COVID-19 restrictions. Usually this task would be conducted uh, by uh, civilian contractors. However, due to uh, the situation, there would not be the support in place for them to conduct this task, such as hotels, feeding and transport. Uh, so 3-3 Engineer Regiment EOD and Search have been tasked to backfill uh, these slots so that these essential tasks can, can still take place in the UK. The engineers are spending five weeks here helping clear the area working in two-person teams to meticulously search the ground. I am currently in the role of searcher, so I will go ahead with a ferrex, which is essentially a metal detector, and George will follow me with his shovel. The trusty shovel. The trusty shovel. And we'll come down the line. If I pick anything up, I'll then try and pinpoint whereabouts that exactly is and where I want George to dig. I'll then bring him forward explain what it is or what it could potentially be, how deep it might be, how large it is, and then I'll step back, George will then take over. Once Nix has told me what is possibly in the ground, I'll then um, come forward, I'll possibly make a box around the possible device, depending on how big it is. Um, also, we find out the depth of it, also from Nix's uh, searching. Take the top layer off, as soon as we've got the top layer off, we get the Nix will come back in with the ferrex research it and then if it's even deeper obviously get the shovel back in. Some parts of the training area here are open to the public and making sure the land is safe for them to enjoy means hazardous material from any exercise must be cleared. We've got 30 hectares of land uh, to move through and clear of all explosive ordnance. This is a high assurance search uh, so 100% of the area will be searched uh, to one metre in depth. Uh, and this then ensures uh, that the area can be used for future taskings and also just for the local population, uh, the civilian population, to move through uh, with footpaths and the like. It's painstaking work, but by the time the engineers finish, the land will be safe and ready to be used for future training exercises and for the local community to enjoy. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe to our channel.